like to take a look at what we're actually going to be discussing. We're going to talk about the design of what I would call a traditional clinical trial project monitoring plan, and we'll look at some of the drivers, both historical and regulatory, for monitoring plans. We'll help you actually to understand how to develop a monitoring plan that would meet the unique needs of your individual project, because that's a really important aspect or concept in monitoring plans. They should actually be study-specific and trial-specific. From there, we'll talk about actually expanding a concept of a traditional monitoring plan into what I would call a next generation monitoring plan. I think about how we could also incorporate maybe the unique needs of individual investigative sites that we're working with. So that'll be kind of a, an introduction of some new concepts that have arisen somewhat out of the risk-based monitoring approach guidance documents that have been issued by the EMA and the FDA.